There's been a lot of concern and chaos around the future of AI, but there's something you can start doing today to support a better and safer AI future. And it's easier than you think. Hi, I'm Neva Liv, and welcome to Living with AI. I want to start with Boston Dynamics, a company that makes both human and animal-like robots, which went viral again, this time for its ChatGPT-enabled dog robot. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot, and I will be your guide for today. You might think tech like this is something that's going to be big in homes and offices later, but the reality is that this is already here. I'm bringing my sister to help demonstrate this. Hi, I'm Juni Pernil. Juni has a really cool robot focus channel. You guys should definitely check it out. She just got this little robot, which is connected to ChatGPT. Juni, can you show us how it works? Sure. I go into more details in another video on my channel, but I'll just ask you a question now. Hello, Luna. Tell me a joke about two sisters that have YouTube channels on AI and robotics. Oh, I've got a joke for you. Why did the two sisters start a robotics channel together? Because they wanted to build a sisterhood of circuits and laughter. Isn't that electrifyingly funny? Ooh. I don't get it. Thanks, Juni. This uses a pretty basic API, a direct connection and exchange behind the scenes, with OpenAI's ChatGPT, the same API that Boston Dynamics used in their dog. What's interesting here is the connection and the code behind it isn't complex. OpenAI has made it super simple to build a backend integration with their leading chatbot. You might be wondering, why would OpenAI do this? When you log into the free chat interface of ChatGPT, you aren't paying anything. Instead, think of it as OpenAI paying you, as it costs them money for every question you give and answer they provide. Though they do get something out of it, every question or response you have helps train it so it can continue to be one of the top large language models out there. Kind of a win-win. However, that alone isn't a sustainable business model. OpenAI has a leading chatbot, but what can they do with it? They need to find some way to make money, and one way is being the backend or brains for other companies and services through their API integrations. Think about customer service support, or like we've seen in the example earlier, the brains behind these conversational pet robots. This is appealing for many companies, since these companies don't have to spend millions of dollars training their own large language models, and for a relatively small price, they can tap into one of the best in the world. With that, OpenAI gets paid directly every time a customer uses their API connection. Even though OpenAI is currently not profitable, if they can be the brains behind as many systems and robots as possible, that will be extremely lucrative. This potential is how they've recently achieved a near $100 billion valuation. Of course, having one company control the brains behind all of our robots and systems sounds like something right out of a sci-fi movie, which is especially concerning with the drama that recently took place with OpenAI. Their leadership showed some strong misalignment to say the least, and this is the company focused on ensuring AI alignment when superhuman intelligence arrives. So I'd recommend doing your part by trying out and using all the chatbots out there to spread the love, knowledge, and training. As more chatbots get better outside of ChatGPT, there will be more healthy competition in the AI space and a better balance in the force. They all have their various strengths and weaknesses, so you get to learn what works best for a specific situation, but we can also try to steer away from the dystopian future of a single, all-powerful AI entity. I know this warning advice sounds wild, like what kind of movie are we in? But small actions like this can make a big difference over time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more info about living with AI.